in this video segment we will uh, add photographs, images to the graphic organizer and arrange them within the graphic organizer, align them, uh, resize them, reorder them as in bring to front or send to back. There are a few different ways that you can do that that all start with uh, the insert button there. So clicking on that we want to insert an image. Once we do that you can see that you can select files from your computer, you can go from a website or you can search Google Images uh, for relevant images. The first one I'm going to do is a nice helicopter view of the Niagara Whirlpool Gorge that I've found uh, that shows uh, the, world, the area surrounding the Whirlpool Gorge which is relevant for the first corner question in the upper left hand corner of the graphic organizer which is describe the shape of the land. Uh, you can see a pretty good sized area here with the Whirlpool front and center. Uh, up at the top of the screen is Niagara Falls itself and the city of Niagara Falls, Ontario right here and Niagara Falls, New York right here, the Grand Island up at the very top. Uh, and to use this image we copy the URL of the image. It needs to be of the image, not of the page that's hosting the image, so that means that it needs to end with a suffix that goes with images like .jpg or .tif or .png or .pdf. Any one of those will work and there may be other image files that work. And now we go back and plug that in here, like so. And just paste it in and hit return. And now it's uploading the media and I've also zoomed to about the right size uh, so that I so that it would fit appropriately. You can see as I rotate this um, there are uh, frames that uh, if I'm lined up in the same way it highlights those frames and I want to be the same way as the yellow frame right there right underneath it and I want to resize it a little bit. Uh, there's a minus and a plus arrow on what they call the zebra, what Prezi calls the zebra controller, and you can simply click and drag um, within the shaded area, area next to that, or that includes that plus and minus sign. Um, and that's about the size I want, just a little bit smaller I think. And then I want to slide it into position, and it actually doesn't look like it's quite lined up with that. There we go. Okay, and that looks to be in about the right place, but if we look at it, we can see that it's on top of the blue arrow, uh, and it's maybe actually still a little bit big. So we want to shrink it a little bit so it's not um, not too big. We're going to need want to fit in another um, picture there, which we could almost use the same picture twice in this case. Um, but we're looking at the shape of the land, and uh, uh, water is very relevant for that. And um, but as I, as I said, we're now on top of the blue arrow, which is not what we want. So I'm going to right click or control click on uh, my keyboard, and I'm going to send the picture backward. Send it to the back. So now the blue arrow is on top of it. This whole thing is a single image. The uh, arrows and the circles and the globe is a single image. I put some frames on top of it. We'll talk about frames in a little bit. And now that I've moved it to the back, when I click on it, it's it's um, highlighting the whole graphic organizer image. If I want to do anything with that picture, I need to click and drag. Uh, I'm sorry, click shift and drag. And now I can pick it up again. I use the shift key to do that. And I'm going to shrink it just a tiny bit more so that there's room for another picture underneath there and maybe slide that just a little bit. Um, also so that it's you know, more closely associated with the yellow stuff than the blue stuff. And next I'm going to uh, add another image in a different way rather than taking it uh, from a website where you can see the URL will do a different trick. And I'm going to pause. For the next image I insert, I'm going to um, come go, go to a Picasso web album I've created. I'm, I'm clicking out to 
click back in sort of and, and read the question that I'm interested in. The next one I'm going to do is look for something that shows the types and arrangements of rocks and sediment and what they indicate about past environment. Now I'll just click off the edge here a little bit and that should zoom me back out somewhat and click in another place and, and uh, zoom me further out still. I do like to switch back and forth between edit mode and show mode to uh, to look at the elements that I put in. Um, and so now I'm going to click escape which brings me back into edit mode and now I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, image here from my Picasso web album of uh, the Niagara Gorge and for looking at the shape and arrangement of the rocks I think this does a reasonable job it may not be the greatest picture for that and I might end up uh, I will end up going back up to Niagara Falls and taking some more pictures and I may uh, seek out one that that shows the layering of the rocks in the gorge wall better than this one does. Now what I've done to make that pop-up menu appear is uh, right click and I'm uh, holding down the uh, um, I'm actually not right clicking I'm control clicking on my laptop uh, and this works in Explorer, I'm sorry, it does not work in Explorer. It's a little bit different in Explorer, and uh, we'll put some notes in the, the video notes on that, um, on how to do, how it looks a little bit different in Internet Explorer. Um, but right clicking works in Chrome, in Firefox, and in Safari. And when you do that, in those three bar browsers, you'll get uh, copy image URL. Um, in Explorer you'll need to do one more step than we do here. So I'm going to copy the image URL, go back to my Prezi, and do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to insert an image. I'm going to line myself up about the to get it to show up at about the right size, plug in that URL I just copied. It does end in .jpg, so one of the image formats that's acceptable here. Pl uh, uh, plug it in, and there it is, and I'm going to line it up in the same way I did before, um, and shrink it down just a tiny bit. I'm going to let some of it be behind that box, and here it actually fits in in a way that I don't need to move it to the back, so I won't. Um, if it was on top of the other stuff, I would, uh, since it's not, that actually adds the advantage of when I'm in show mode. Um, and I click on this, it'll zoom to the full extent of that image, and then you can zoom in pretty close and uh, and maintain the resolution of your image pretty well. So that is that. Um, now I'm going to pause again and get ready for uploading one from my computer. So now we'll add in another image on the effects of humans on the landscape. And a very powerful effect for humans on the landscape is uh, the power plants at Niagara Falls. And so we're going to add an image of one of those power plants. And I'm going to select a file from my computer this time. And that is in my pictures folder. Arrange my date modified. I just fiddled with it a little bit. And there's a picture here that shows uh, an American power plant um, I guess I'll resize it a little bit based on that. That didn't used to ask that question. Um, and in the top, at the top of the image, zoom in, and I'll. Just, yeah, that's all right. At the top of the bit, uh, image is the Adam Beck Two power plant in Ontario. And on, in the foreground is some of the Robert Moses power plant in New York. And uh, that's a very substantial feat of engineering. These, these two things are a very substantial feat of engineering for the falls. I'm going to slide it just a little bit that way. And it looks like it's actually behind the image already, so we'll see if that... Oops. And it brings up a text box. So, um, and that lined up pretty nicely. So let's see what it looks like when we click play, if that is actually blocking the text or not. And 
it isn't, but the text is dark, so I'm going to escape and just slide it a little bit further over so that it's not blocking the question mark. And that is the second way to put in an image. So now we've got three images in here. Um, and next we will see if we can find one uh, on Google Images for, let's zoom into the environment, and the environmental questions, and pause for a moment. Now we'll add an image from a Google image search. So I'm going to look at the types and arrangements of plants and animals and what they indicate about present and past environments. And I'm just going to put in Niagara Whirlpool as I've done a little bit of detective work to figure out what comes up that's nice. And this is not perhaps the greatest example for this feature as it just brings up one picture, but it's, uh, well, maybe there's more than one actually. Um, there is more than one. Let me uh, scroll through that. So you can just use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the images that are there. There are only two. Um, and I think uh, this one shows uh, the beginning of some fall colors, so we're going to use that one. That tells us something about the kinds of trees that we're seeing in the Niagara Gorge. They're deciduous, for one thing. And that they, oh, that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> so let's shrink that down so that it fits. And put it into the right place over there. Just click and drag to get us to the position we want to be in. And click and drag to resize it. And that looks to me that it's about aligned the way I would like, although maybe not quite perfect. There we go and shrink it down just a little bit more, set it over here, and again, control click or um, right click to send it to the back, which it didn't do. Why well, didn't it do it? It said it was um, send to back. Uh, send it to back. There we go. Okay. It might be a little bit more obscured than is ideal, but it's, it's okay. It's workable. Um, yeah, that's okay. And that's how you put pictures in. I'm going to stick some more pictures in and uh, uh, get ready for the next piece of the tutorial.